Okay, for this project, I'm using Peaches and Cream. It is a four ply, 100% cotton yarn. You don't have to use this brand, but you need to use 100% cotton since we're making it, since it's kind of like a pot holder or a hot pad. Um, it needs to be cotton, so <clears throat> acrylic and that kind of stuff really don't hold up to the heat very well. So, And the color I'm using is um, Sunshine. And then I'm going to be using a size H. Uh, it's a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And then if you want, I got a little flower I'm going to put on at the end. You can get these at Walmart or any craft store. I got like a bunch of them, like 50 or 60 in a bag for a couple dollars. So, and I'll probably hot glue that on too. So, you need that. If you want to do that, you don't have to do that. This is decoration. Okay, first thing you want to do, this should be a pretty quick and easy project, is start with a chain of four. Slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Like that. And I'm going to chain one. And now I'm going to go through and I'm going to put 12 double crochets through the center of the ring. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then if you pull your tail, you can it'll usually make the center circle a little bit smaller. And when you get your 12 done, you want to slip stitch into the first one right here. And that will close that round off. Okay, now what I'm going to do is chain one. And I'm going to go back into the same stitch that we just slip stitched in. And I'm going to do a half double crochet. And I'm going to go along and I'm going to put one half double crochet in every stitch, each one of the, these double crochets from the previous row. Half doubles. So you still should have 12. Make it back to the beginning. I'm gonna flip mine because that's really gonna be the right side out right there. And when you make it back to the beginning, you want to slip stitch into the first half double crochet. Like that. And now you want to chain one again. I'm gonna do another row of one half double crochet in every stitch. So go ahead and yarn over and go back into the exact same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And half double crochet. And then one half double crochet again. And every stitch crossed until you get back to the beginning.
Okay, after that row, I'm going to slip stitch into the first half double, chain one, and I'm going to do one more row of half double crochet, starting in that very first stitch. So I'm going to go around working just like we did before, one half double crochet in every stitch. Okay, at the end of that row, I just slip stitched into my first half double crochet. Now we're going to be working double crochets again. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go back into the very first double, very first uh, stitch that I just slip stitched into. And I'm going to put four double crochets all in the same stitch. Two, three and four and then I'm going to move to the next stitch and put four double crochets one two three four and the next one put four one two three so I'm going to work around putting four double crochets in every stitch. Okay, now what you want to do is slip stitch into your first single crochet. After that round of four double crochets in every stitch, now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into the same stitch and double crochet. Now this time around I'm going to put two double crochets in every stitch all the way around. So, just like before, only two in each stitch, just to, instead of four. So, two in this one. Two in the next one. Two. So, I'm going to continue around, putting two in each two double crochets in each stitch until I get back to my starting point. Okay, after that row I just slip stitched into my first double crochet and I'm going to tie off and I'm going to hide all these tails. Okay, one more thing I'm going to do, which you don't have to do, just to decorate it up a little bit. I got a piece of the same color yarn in my darning needle. I'm just going to weave it. Um, through these holes right here between let me look here between the last row of the half double crochet and the next row of the where we did all the double crochets and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna weave it over and under these stitches real quick and I'm gonna tie a little bow just for decoration you don't have to. I'm not sewing anything, I'm just using this needle to go over and under these stitches here. I'm going to do it all the way back around to where I started. Okay, and then I'll just tie a little bow and then tie up all my extra, or cut off all my extra string. I'm just going to hot glue my flower by my bow. You want to make sure you use a, um, a low temperature hot glue gun if you have it. I'm going to just put it in the middle of my bow. And again, this is just decorating it. You don't even have to do this. So, see what it looks like now. 
pot over here. And there you go. Now you got something you can pick up your pot with and it won't burn your hands off. That's it. It's really cute. I think it turned out good. If you make this, don't forget to post a picture on my Facebook page. I'd really like to see it. And please don't forget to check out all my other tutorials too. And subscribe to my channel. And if you could like my Facebook page too, that'd be awesome. And until next time, have a good day.